Once you've finished adding instruments and samples to a document, you're ready to build a sound bank. Click Build Sound Bank in the File menu to open the Build window. The Build window is subdivided into four sections. The Document Info section has fields where you can assign the bank name, an engineer's name, and comments. The bank name is the only required field. The bank name is also what appears in the DLS Music Device window in GarageBand. The Target File section lets you select between sound font and downloadable sounds format. Generally speaking, if you are unsure about which format to use, select sound font. The Target Destination section gives you a convenient pop-up menu of common locations on your hard drive where you might want to save a sound bank. The User Sound Bank setting and the System Sound Banks setting are the only two locations where software like GarageBand searches to locate your sound banks. And the final section shows you the build progress, so let's build. Name the file, click Save. Simple as that.